This is the very first time I've heard of this, but apparently many people know that pork can actually produce a false positive for steroid use. Shelby Holohan, an Olympic distance runner, dreams have come to a crashing halt after testing positive for anabolic steroids that she claims came from eating a pork burrito. Shelby, who holds an American record for 1,500 and 5,000 meters, has now been banded for four years. So, of course, I had to find out if there's any truth to this, and lo and behold, there's research done on this very subject. Wow, my mind has been blown. Welcome back, health nerds. I'm your host and your nerd, Stephen Ayala. If you hadn't yet, please hit that like and subscribe button and leave a comment down below. This is a free way to support this channel. Today's sponsor is Cellgenics Liver Regenics, hosting eight of the world's most regenerative superfoods and enhanced with plant stem cells. Like always, if you want to know more about today's video subject and supplement, you will find it down in the description box below. Nandrolone, also known as 19 nor testosterone, is an androgen and an anabolic steroid. Nandrolone are among the most widely used drug known for improving physical and uh, performance enhancing. Nandrolone is well known and commonly used in sports, was banded because of the edge it gave most athletes and bodybuilders. Now Shelby received an email from the Athletic Integrity Unit said that she had, they had discovered that she had an anabolic steroid called nandrolone and was subjected to suspension. Confused and panicked, she read the email about 10 times. She never heard of nandrolone and after research, she soon learned that it had been long understood by the World Anti-Doping Agency that eating pork can lead to a false positive for nandrolone that certain type of pigs can naturally produce high amounts of nandrolone in the pig organs and muscles. Now, I personally don't eat much pork, maybe two to three times a year. Pork has been known to be a very dirty meat because of the parasites, the bacteria, and the toxins that the pigs carry. Now, sweating is a common way for humans to expel toxins from the body, but pigs have no sweat glands and happen to store all those toxins in the meat. They are scavengers, they normally eat just about anything, including their own feces. Now, large meat factories have these pigs contained in very small pens and are usually sick and fed a diet of many harmful drugs that help them stay alive long enough to get fat and bulky, which then you consume the meat and everything the pig has been fed and given. Now, pork liver is well known to cause hepatitis E and affects about 20 million people a year. And pigs are uh, well known to have parasites in their meat that are hard to kill even with heat. And this is known to cause abdominal pain, diarrhea, and fatigue. And let us not forget about the nitrates you will find in processed meats like bacon, ham, hot dogs, jerky, sausage, and cold cuts. Now sodium nitrate may damage your blood vessels, making your arteries more likely to harden and narrow leading to heart disease. But this is a whole nother subject and video in the future. Health nerds, knowledge is power, health is wealth. See ya.